Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Europa League predictions. The first time ever I've covered the Europa League. Um, obviously first they're coming up this week and that's what we'll be doing. Um, and then the second leg will be sometime next week, possibly a week today. Um, but there's still a lot of things to talk about. A few shocks along the way, so let's get down to it, guys. This video is sponsored by LOL T shirt company. They send my merch a link for my merch down in the description below, along with all my social media links. So go feel free to check out my merch and uh, follow me on social media if you wish to do so. Um, but anyway, there's a lot to talk about, a lot to do. So, guys, you know what to do, you know what I'll do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Frankfurt versus Basel. Um, Frankfurt drew, drew their last game to Salzburg, um, but they won 6-3 on aggregate. Great res uh, result for Frank um, Frankfurt there. Um, Frankfurt have got a total of 14 goals in the competition this year. I think this game is going to be quite tight over the two legs. Um, with, you know, both clubs got similar records in this competition this year. Um, Basel won their last game 1-0, a uh, 4-0 win on aggregate, and they got a total of 16 goals. So, you know, this game could be quite interesting for one or two reasons. Um, but I think that Frankfurt win from the last round, I think they might just edge this one, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Istanbul um, versus Copenhagen. Um, I know Istanbul's, I've got a second name, but I can't quite pronounce it. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to call them Istanbul. You know who I'm on about anyway. See the club uh, logo down below. Um, Istanbul's last game was a win against Sporting. Sporting... I think getting rid of Bruno Fernandes could be a big part in the key of going out for this game. Um, their last game was a 4-1, and they also won it 5-4 on aggregate. So, you know, as I said, I think a big part of that was the Bruno Fernandes being sold to Manchester United. Um, well, you know, with a total of 12 goals... That was after extra time anyway, that uh, second leg. But, um, you know, still a bit. I uh, still, as I said, that Bruno Fernandes uh, sale. Um, total 12 goals this year. Um, you know, where do you go from that? It's, you know, it'd be really interesting to see where Sporting end up next season. Um on the other hand, Copenhagen won the last game 3-1 over Celtic, 4-2 on aggregate. I think this game is going to be slightly crucial um, on the second leg, but I'm going to go with a Copenhagen win, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 Copenhagen win, so two away goals in that game. The next one is L. A-C-K versus Manchester United. Um, L-A-C-K's last game was a 2-0 win. Uh, winning it 3-1 on aggregate over the two legs. Um, Man United, on the other hand, had a brilliant second leg. Um, I watched it. Um, you know, winning 5-0 against Club Bruges and then going through on 6-1 on aggregate on the scoreline. Man United... Um, look really confident at this present time. Um, just beating Man City next season. I think it's a big season for Man United, but we're going to have to wait and see see what other things happen as well. Um, with the likes of you know transfers, but other I think next season will be a really big thing for Man United. I'm going to go for a Man United win because I think the City win will just push them a bit. And I'm going to go for a free... No, I'm not. I'm going to go for 
a 2-1 Man United win. The next one is Slovenia versus Rome. Um, Slovenia a draw in their last game was 0-0, but they go through on the away goal. Whereas the away goal has been a lot of uh, discussion over the past few weeks. Should we get rid of it? Should we do this? Please feel free to put your comments down below. What do you think we should do with the away goal? How do you think it could precede our game in the future? Rome, on the other hand, you know, going through 2-1 on aggregate over the two legs. Rome's last game was a 1-1 scoreline. Um, but, you know, 2-1 on aggregate. I think getting rid of the away goal would be a big mistake, if I'm all honest. Um, we all start to get used to it now. Well, I've been used to it ever since it came in. I can see why it's been brought in. It's a lot harder to score away from home than what it is at home. Um, this game's going to be slightly interesting. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for the first leg for that one. My next one is Inter Milan versus Gaddafi. Um, Gaddafi does ever so well in the La Liga. Inter Milan, I think I've brought a few gems for Man United this season. With the likes of Ashley Young, um, Sanchez, I know he's on loan for Man United, Lukaku. I think Lukaku has found his feet again at Inter. Um, but let's get down to the few stacks for this. Um, Inter Milan's last game was a, f was a win. 2-1 um, on the night, 4-1 on aggregate. But where do you go if you're an Inter you know, fan? You looking towards Champions League? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Um, Gaddafi's last game was a 2-1 win, 3-2 on aggregate. I think that this game is going to be ever so slightly interesting for the likes of both these clubs. But I'm going to stick up for an Inter Milan win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Inter Milan win. My next one is the team that knocked out Arsenal. It's Olympiacos versus Wolves. Um, as I said, Olympiacos knocking out Arsenal. That last minute goal by Olympiacos putting through on the away goal. Um, it was 2 1 on the night. Um, that away, this is what I'm saying about the away goal. If we get rid of it, I think it's going to take a, lot, a bit of the attention away. Um, Wolves won in 6 3 on aggregate um, against Espana. Um, this game, I think, is going to be, you know, a bit of a dodgy game. Wolves have just drawn to Brighton in the Premier League. So, as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. I'm expecting Wolves to turn up the heat after drawing to Brighton. Um, I know a few of you Wolves fans are not happy about it. But, you know, I think they'll turn up the heat. I think this is where Wolves truly eye lies. Obviously, the Premier League title's already gone, and they're looking to secure European football for next season. Um, but, yeah, as I said, I, you know, I won all the scoreline for that one. My next one is Rangers versus Barlet Percusen. Rangers' last game was a 1-0 win, uh, winning it 4-2 on aggregate over the two legs. Barlet Percusen was a win over Porto. 3-1, 5-2 on aggregate. But they're producing. Where are they going to be next season? Um, you know, it's going to be slightly interesting um, this time. Uh, not this time next season. The start next season. See who's in the Champions League and see who's in the UA play group stages. I think Bardet Pacus is going to have this one quite comfortably. And I'll go for a 3-0 Bardet Pacus and win. Sorry, Rangers fans. Um, my last one is Wolfsburg versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, Wolfsburg win last game was a 3 0 win, 5 1 on aggregate over the two legs. While Shakhtar Donetsk drawn their last game 3 uh, 3 with, with Benfica 
Um, while Shattat did that, went, went through 5 4 and aggregate. Um, both these teams, I think, it's going to take that second leg. I'm going to go for a 0 0 scoreline for the first leg, and then you're going to have to come back to see what I say for the second leg or what I predict for the second leg. But, you know, it's going to be slightly interesting. But as I said, this is my European uh, Europa League. Leg one predictions, leg two will probably be up next week. Um, my Premier League predictions will be up on Wednesday. But anyway, guys, until then, give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.